In this tutorial we're going to show you how to use the featured post widget that's included with Genesis. So you can see here I'm starting off in the WordPress dashboard. I'm already logged into WordPress and I've gone to appearance and widgets. So from here all I really need to do is find the featured post widget which you can see here on screen and drag that into a widget area. So I'm just going to continue the trend of putting things in the primary sidebar for now. Of course you can put this wherever you'd like but given the nature of this widget, as you'll see in a few minutes from now, it's definitely best if you have it in a long sidebar. So first we can define a title. It's really up to you if you want to do that. It's going to be pretty obvious what this widget is, but more is probably merrier in this situation anyway. So you might want to say uh, featured posts, even though for the most part, they'll be uh, your more recent posts more than featured anyway. Uh, the second thing you need to decide on is what category these posts will come from. So by default, it'll be set to all categories, but using this drop down, you can choose from any category uh, in, and it doesn't matter if it's a subcategory or a sub subcategory either. You're more than welcome to choose as you see fit. I'm just going to leave this as all categories for now. Then you choose the number of posts you'd like to show. So maybe you want to show five posts. That's a really kind of standard amount that you would see in a widget like this, but you know, once again, if you want to show more or less, it's uh, it's up to you. The next choice you have is the number of posts to offset by. So it'll be set to zero as default, but you might choose to set that as five as well. So it'll start from five posts per the order method. So as you can see here, we're ordering by date at the moment, but you could choose title, parent, etc. So we'll just choose title for the moment. Uh, then the sort order is either descending or ascending. Uh, it's again, a very it's a personal choice depending on your website, what you want to run. Uh, and you can also choose to exclude previously displayed posts. Always a very good idea to turn that one on. Next, you can choose to show the author gravatar, which means that in the sidebar, it'll also show the, the author's gravatar next to the post title. I'm going to turn that on just so you can see it. You can choose the size here as well. I'm just going to keep it at small and I'm going to set an alignment of left. Next, we can choose to show a featured image. Now, if a post has a featured image, it could be nice to show it in the sidebar uh, with this widget, but you know that's up to you. I think that for this, it's probably going to look a little bit nice without that featured image showing up, so I'm just going to leave it uh, not showing for the moment. And then you can choose to show the post title if you want, which definitely makes sense, I think. I think if you're not showing it, it could be a little bit strange just seeing a sidebar full of content with uh, nothing to make it seem relative to anything at all. And then after that, you can choose to show the post info, which is by far and large metadata. But if we look here, we can see the post date by the post author and then the, the amount of comments that are on there. And these are actually Genesis shortcodes. So you can chop and change these if you, around if you want. You can remove them. Uh, and you can even indeed go and check the Genesis documentation to learn more about the shortcodes that are available for you to use. Then you can choose the content type. So you can go with all the content, the excerpt, the content limit up to a certain number of characters or no content whatsoever. I'm just going to go with uh, show excerpt for now. Then of course, if you were going to show content limit, then you would choose how many characters you wanted. As far as the more text goes, that's, uh, that's only applicable in that instance as well, but you can customize it to whatever you would like. Now we've got another option as well, which is kind of pretty cool, I think. So what we can do is display a list of more posts from this category. So it will be whatever category you select, which in our instance is every category, and how many you would like to show. So if you would like to do that, you can say more from this category or whatever you want, really. Number of posts to show, we've put four. And we'll hit the box to say, yes, show archive link. And then we'll hit save. So what we do now is just go back to the website and there you go. You can see in the left hand sidebar, we've now got that content. There's a title, the gravatar image, the metadata showing the date, who it's by and the comments, the actual content itself. And if we go down, we can see that there's the unload list of more content. So that's a crash course in how to use this widget. You can, of course, you know, push the boundaries and really squeeze it for what you want. But hopefully that gives you a nice idea of what it can do anyway. So if you have any questions about that, please feel free to ask in the comments below.